Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Thank you for checking out today's video. I really appreciate it. What we're doing is we're kind of reframing some stuff on an existing deck. Some of the framing is in good shape, some of it not so good. So we're kind of uh, doing a little bit of uh, this and that so that we can uh, put in some solid surface blocking for our Regal Ideas railing. And then we'll be able to lay down some sweet TimberTech ASEC decking. So if you like what you see today, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we put out uh, new content, hit the bell icon as well. All right, let's get going. All right, so what we're doing on this little deck is we're replacing most of the uprights. The footings were not packed properly. Um, they're just on pure blocks. And whoever built the deck, didn't. they just set the footings right on the ground. They didn't even level them out or anything. They didn't put any fasteners from the post to the beams. Um, pretty shoddy workmanship. So we're revamping it. A lot of the posts were too short, so we're cutting new posts and putting all those in and kind of giving this thing some uh, structure like it needs because it's really wobbly right now. So once we get all the posts in, then we'll be able to lock it all together, screw it all together, put some metal on it, and then we'll be able to get into the frame. Wait and see. How's everybody today? I think it was just resting on there. But there's a footing in there, it was just buried in dirt. I like them when they're out of the ground a little bit so the metal's not getting wet. Yeah, it's leaning pretty hard. So we've added all the support, we've reset all these footings, we've compacted them all, we got them all at the right area so everything's level and nothing's tilting and the deck doesn't even move. It was really wobbly before, so now it's pretty sturdy. Um, so now what we're gonna do is work on the joist system and we're going to put some toenails. There's only one nail in each joist going into the beam, so we're gonna add two more. So there's at least three going into each one. After that, we're going to uh, pressure block over the beams. Andy's getting started on that. And then um, I'm gonna add some blocking for some railing, and then we'll be able to put some decking up here. I don't know, man. If I have to sit here and screw with this all day, I might as well just hang it up. I mean, whoever laid this out didn't do a good job. What's going on? We're trying to straighten out these joists, but it's kind of a joke. Still over 16 inches on center here, Andy, so. Cause you're using this as structure, so. All right, so whoever had built the deck originally, uh, the beam was short, so they added a three inch piece of the beam, another piece of beam, to the end of this beam, and thought, that'll work. And they just put a couple nails in there, and there you go. So what we ended up doing was we took this block out because it's just starting to rot away and fall apart. See? And we added a two by eight to each side of this beam to give it structure so that our outside rim jo or outside joist has something solid to land on instead of a piece of junk. So um, now we're going to um, the layout's all screwed up on these beams too, so now we're gonna go back and try to straighten out the joists, and then we'll be able to put in the rest of our blocking for our railing, and then we can start putting down some decking. That, that did it right there. Beautiful. Two by six. Do we have any two by six? I have an issue. The deck's not square. 
go figure. I gotta configure this outside of this deck a little bit. So I'm gonna do that while Andy is uh, running some pressure blocking. Andy's out of nails. Dropping some pressure blocking, using that Metabo HP framer, man. That thing bangs nails like crazy. DJ Studio Man's catching all that for the YouTube channel. Have you guys been to our YouTube channel? No. Dr. Dex? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. So we are going to be uh, finishing up this little deck today get all the pressure blocking in. We're gonna G-tape and prep it and get it ready for decking. Might even lay some of that stuff down on top of it. If I'm lucky, we'll see. Uh, depends how quickly we can get this tape down. And then uh, Wednesday, we'll probably be back on that upper deck. So uh, check back in, see how we do. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.